Romi chapter 2, verse 24. Can you help me get the Deuteronomy chapter 22? I mean, chapter 2, verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 2, from verse 24. Can you help me read it? Take the mic, the platform. God just go there. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 22, then we look at verse 24. 24 says, Rise up, set out on your journey, and go over the valley of the Aaron. Behold, I have given into your hand Simon and Amorite, king of Heshbon and his, and his land. Begin to take possession and contend, and contend with him in battle. Now, we are going to read it again. Don't go yet. Now, when you listen to Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24, what God is saying, He said, Rise ye up. God was talking to the people of Israel under the leadership of Moses. And this is what God was saying. He said, Rise ye up, which is an action. It's an action word. God is saying, It's time to take action. Rise ye up. Hallelujah. Rise ye up and take your journey because right now I have given you Shimon the Amorite, the king of Heshbon and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. Can you read it again? Yes, sir. 24. Yeah. Rise up. Rise up, set out your journey. And go over to the valley of the earth. Go over to the valley. Behold, I have given into your hand. Behold, God says, you need to see this. You need to understand this. You need to fix your attention on this. I, yes. See an, an behold. Start from behold. Behold, I have given into your hand. I want you to understand this. I want you to, God is saying to them, I want you to look at this. I want you to understand this. I want you to focus on this. That I have given you who? Sion and Amorites. Yes. King of Hashbon and his land. Behold, begin to take possession and contend with you in battle. So tonight, what we want to do, we want to possess. The things that God has given unto us. Can you open to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and help us read from verse 2 and 3. God has delivered certain blessing into your life. Ephesians chapter 1. Let's look at verse 3. 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father. Verse 3 of Ephesians chapter 1 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes? He has blessed us in Christ. He has blessed us in Christ in the heavenly places with all spiritual blessings. Read it again. Three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the blessed places. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, tonight we want to pray. And I want us to understand the prayer that we are praying tonight. What God is saying tonight, God is saying, in that book of Deuteronomy that we read, God spoke to Moses and to the people of Israel. He said, now you need to rise up and take an action. You need to go over because I have delivered Shimon the Amorite, the king of Heshbon, into your hand. Begin to possess it. And contend with him in battle. You see, God is saying, I give you that king, I give you that land, go and take it, but you will fight. God is saying to us in that Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, He said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Now, when you read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, it's not saying that God will bless us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. No. 
He's saying, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. And like he told the people of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 2, he said to us, you need to do something to receive the blessing that I have already provided for you. Now when God, God already has given you the blessing, but there is an action you need to take. You need to fight. And this is where many of us miss it. We want God to bless us and to bless us. But God has already blessed us. Now we need to do something to receive the blessing. Now the truth about it, when you study the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you are going to find out that the day God stopped the creation, God rested. God has blessed us. But we have a role to play in receiving our blessing. And one of the roles to play is what we are here to do tonight. Tonight, we are here to pray so that we can receive the blessing that God already has blessed us. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, God already blessed us, but we need to do something to receive the blessing. Now, let me explain that to Jeremy again. God said to them, See, behold, pay attention, look at this, focus on this. I have given you Shimon, the Amorite, the king of Heshbon. I have given him into your hand. This is the blessing I deliver to your hand. But go and possess it and fight. Hallelujah. God blessed us, but God wants us to do something. That is why the Bible says, in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, from verse 7, it says, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. You see, the problem we are having, we think because God knows everything we need, and we don't need to ask him, we need to ask him. Because in this world, there's a devil. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a devil that does not want you to get the things that God wants you to get. That's why we pray. We pray because we need to fight that devil that does not want us to get the things that God wants us to get. Hallelujah. Amen. As I'm speaking, I'm saying somebody. And that person is a, is a man. Hallelujah. Amen. And that man is sitting right here. And this is what I saw. I saw blood speaking. So, again, we are going to pray before I continue. Can you put your hand on your chest like this? Say in the name of Jesus. Every blood that is working against my destiny. Blood of Jesus. Silence you now. Say in the name of Jesus. Every blood that is speaking against my progress. Blood of Jesus. Silence you. Silence you. Say in the name of Jesus. As the blood of Jesus. Speak better things. Than the blood of Abel. Tonight. The blood of Jesus. Speak better things. Than any blood. That is speaking against my life. In the name of Jesus. Now put your hand in from your chest. And do like this. Say in the name of Jesus. Whatever any demonic blood is speaking against my life tonight, that way that that blood is speaking is cancelled in the name of Jesus. You don't understand what I'm saying. God is doing something for somebody. There's deliverance for somebody as I'm talking to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what blood it is that is speaking against my life. Tonight, I silence that blood with the blood of Jesus. Say it may be the blood of a goat. It may be the blood of any bird. Tonight, the blood of Jesus silence you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you close your eyes in a minute? Let me just finish that prayer. Recalibre Sinda. You demonic blood. 
that is speaking against any one of these children of God. I speak against him in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Therefore, whatever blood has been used in any demonic altar against these people of God, I nullify their power. I destroy their word. I destroy their decree. Every case they issued against you by the blood is turned to blessing for you. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You are free from that demonic blood. In the name of Jesus, I say you are free from that demonic blood. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Hallelujah. I'm saying say something again. I see a woman. Hallelujah. Amen. The woman is like, she's, she's having a wrapper, a white cloth to wrap her body. She wraps her body from the, from the navel, from this region, you see, from the, the, this place. Hallelujah. Amen. From this place down, wrap herself. From this place up, is naked. And the woman is an old woman. I want you to raise up your right hand like this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any woman, any woman that have laid a case upon my destiny. Tonight, tonight, in the name of Jesus, let those cases be turned to blessing for me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It is done. Amen. Every curse laid against your destiny by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the call of God upon my life, I change those curses into blessing in your life in the name of Jesus. Let those curses be turned to blessings in your life in the name of Jesus. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now before we go to prayer, I want you to understand that God's business of blessing man has already been concluded. The responsibility of receiving blessing is now in the hands of men and women. Hallelujah. The reason why we have not received our blessing is because we have not done the things we needed to have done to receive that blessing. Last week I was trying to explain to you, I remember a thing that happened in my life when I first bought my first car. In 1994, I bought my first car and it was a Volkswagen Beetle. One day, I was invited for a very important program, and I was preparing to go. So I decided, okay, let me take the car. I went to the car, tried to put the key and open the ignition. The car did not stop. It did not start. I tried. You see, because every time the mechanic comes to check the car, I look at what they do. And so I opened the boot of the car. I was trying to do some of those things they were doing. But I couldn't get the engine to start. Then I, I called somebody to call me the, the, the guy, the mechanic. The mechanic came and he said I should put the key. I put the key, started the car. The car would not start. And after some time he said, don't worry. He opened something and brought out one small thing. He called that thing contact set. I said, what is it? He said, this is contact set. And... He, 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 he was looking for a sandpaper. Sandpaper is what they use to smoothen some iron or something. So he took the sandpaper. He couldn't find. So he looked for a rough stone to smoothen the contact set. After smoothening it, he put it back. He said, start the car now. I started the engine. The car began to work. A whole car stopped working. Because of small thing called contact set. There was big battery, new, 
but the battery could not work because one small thing is missing. The reason why we are not there where we need to be could be one small thing in our life. It could be that there is a contact set that is missing in your prayer life. It could be a small thing that is missing in your Bible study life. It could be a small thing that somebody did 20 years ago that is disturbing your destiny. I don't know what that thing is, but tonight we are going to settle it in prayer. I want you to understand that tonight is a night of prayer and we have got to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If there is a man to answer, somebody said, God is always there. If there is a man to pray, God is always there to answer. Amen. And we must understand that this is prevailing church. This is a prayer church. It is prevailing church because we believe in prevailing prayers. We believe in Operation Push. Pray until something happens. We need to pray for ourselves. And we need to pray for the church. We need to pray for our nations. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we believe and we know that when we pray, God must do something. Amen. God do something when people pray. The only thing why some people pray for long and they have not received, and it happens. Somebody said, God answer all prayers. That is true. There is no prayer that you pray that God does not answer. But there are times. Some prayers are delayed. But tonight, the power of God will come into this prayer, and the power of God will bring solution to every problem that we shall express in our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are getting ready to pray right now. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Tonight we are going to pray for ourselves first. Then maybe next week we begin to pray for the nation. We begin to pray for other things. But tonight we have to pray for ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I am seeing some people. I want us to rise up right now. It's time to pray. I am seeing some revelation that I want to convert to prayers. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic chain, Every demonic chain that, have changed my leg that have changed my leg and prevent me from going me from to, those to those places where I will make it, yeah. I command the chain to break off. Can you pray that prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus. Every chain in the leg of anyone that is standing here tonight, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost. Destroy that chain. Destroy those wicked chains. In the name of Jesus. Destroy those demonic chains. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Somebody. You need to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, repale kase ketu. Malenge pike zike tu kololo. Malenge pike zike tu kololo. Your demonic chain. I destroy you by fire. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now you are going to pray that prayer again. Is it the chain when? There is a demonic chain. You can't see that chain. Remember what the Bible says. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can see the chain, then you will have found solution to it long time ago. But because the chain is a spiritual chain that makes you not to go to where you are supposed to meet a path of destinies. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people will go everywhere but the place where their efforts of destinies are. Let me tell you, there is nobody who is useless. And there is nobody who cannot make it in life. The only reason why people make it is because they are connected with their efforts of destiny. Amen. If you have made the president of South Africa, you can do even better than the former this present president. 
But when there is no connection that will take you to the place where your help will be, you, you will just be like somebody who does not know what he's doing. Our legs must be released to go to the places where our helpers of destinies are waiting for us. Say in the name of Jesus. Say from tonight, my leg will take me to the places where my helpers of destiny are waiting for me. Open your mouth and pray.
He came out to spend too much money. He spent only about 200,000 naira from Nigeria to discharge him. The second day they discharged him on the day he came here, I have not seen him. They did have even taken him again. Prophesy to your legs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Prophesy to your legs. Somebody wanted to enter the plane. He decided he was not going again. That plane had a crash. His legs refused to go to where he would die. You have to prophesy. There are some forces of you, you don't know the forces of darkness. You don't know. You know only yourself that you are good. You don't talk bad about anybody. But there are some people who are sitting on the ground. They are they, they took your name to them and they have some spiritual compulsion to make your leg to go to where you will make trouble in your life. Say the name of Jesus. I prophesy to my leg. My leg will never go there. Where I will be in trouble. In the name of Jesus. Somebody prophesy right now. Prophesy to your leg in the name of Jesus Christ. Say the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 
and say very well. Pray like prevailing. Let's pray the prevailing way. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.